throughout the years there have been some absolutely horrible YouTube apologies. From Colleen Ballinger. The only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. To Lara Lee. I hope one day that you guys can save me for the woman that I am. And we can't forget Logan Paul. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Surprisingly, not every YouTuber apology has been terrible, so today we're actually going to take a look at some apologies that are actually pretty decent. The first YouTuber we're going to talk about is iDubs, and you know him probably from this meme. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> He was also well known for making these videos called Content Cops, where he talks about different YouTube creators that he just simply does not like and just ridicules them. He made some interesting videos on Jake Paul as well as Tana Manjo. The videos that he did were pretty high quality and he did a bunch of funny skits to make it even better and because of all the various Content Cops he gained quite a bit of an audience. Even with all of the Content cop success, he didn't like the fact that there were so many negative and hateful comments going towards the creators that he was ridiculing. And in May of 2023, iDubbbz released a video called I Miss the Old iDubs. He talks about his older style of content and says that it was pretty hateful and that that type of content doesn't represent who he is anymore. I don't feel like a lot of this content represents me as a person, uh, at least not anymore. I'm sorry to everyone that I made content cop videos on. I, I still don't like the majority of you and that's fine, but I can recognize that you did not deserve the hate and harassment that I sent your way. I personally thought his apology was pretty good. He's owning up to his actions and he seems pretty sincere. However, there are some people that just don't feel the same way. Personally, I don't forgive him. It's good he's apologizing, but it's been years. I remember watching some of his videos when I was younger and it was very bizarre to see him just casually saying the N word. Still don't care for him, but at least he has the decency to admit it was partially his fault. Other Others in his category who later try to shed their edgelord image like to pretend that they were just discovered by the wrong crowd and that their terrible fans just misunderstood the irony of their content. Even though the response to his apology was a little bit mixed, I overall think it's really good because he seems very sincere and a lot of his audience agree with him too and like the fact that he's gone in a more mature direction. Jenna Marbles is also an example of a good YouTuber apology. She is a massive creator with over 19 million subscribers with her top video being how to trick people into thinking you're good looking. Basically her content was just just making makeup videos and making skits and just basically talking to the camera and being pretty funny. In 2020 she found herself in some hot water when there was viewers that were going back to her old style of content calling it racist. There was one video in particular where she dressed herself as Nicki Minaj and she basically was accused of doing blackface and because of the backlash she made an apology video and she said that she made those types of content private on her channel. And in regards to her privating her controversial videos, she said that I'm happy to do that because what I want from the people that I support and that I like is to have accountability and to know that I'm supporting someone whose morals and values align with my own. Yeah, there are things in the past I'm not proud of and I'm getting a lot of tweets from people saying, why have you privated all these old videos? And I've spent a lot of the last few days privating almost all of my old content. It's hard for that content to exist at all because I think people watch it and don't bother to look at when it was posted or, you know, care about what path I took to get to where I am. She also goes on to say, and I quote, I'm just a person trying to navigate the world the same way as you are, so I don't always know what's right, what's wrong, what the truth is. I'm just trying my best. I think I'm going to move on from this channel for now. I don't know if that's forever. I don't know how long it's going to be. I want to make sure that the things I put out in the world are not hurting anyone. And yeah, I'm just going to stop for now. Watcher is another YouTube channel that deserves some praise for their really good apology video. In April of 2024, Watcher uploaded a video on their channel called Goodbye YouTube. And basically they talked about how they're no longer going to be posting their content on YouTube. If you wanted to watch all their season premieres of their content, you would have to go to Watcher TV. They claimed in their video that it was going to be an affordable price for everyone, but because of this, uh, a lot of people were very upset. And even Moist Critical was talking about the issue. Let me lay down the reality here. Six dollars isn't nothing. Especially not in the current climate of things where everyone and their grandmother is making a subscription service for every single fucking thing on the planet. I understand why some other YouTube channels have third-party places where they can pay for more content, but they're paying for 
more content on top of what they're already getting on YouTube. Critical also goes on to criticize Watcher because they're making a lot of money from not only ad revenue, but from brand deals as well. So basically he's hinting at the fact that this $5.99 subscription is just corporate greed. There's no real reason that they should need a subscription based platform, but they just want it because they want more money. And because of the backlash only three days later, they posted a video called an update where they apologized. Hey everyone, last Friday we announced that we're leaving YouTube and launching our new streaming platform. We messed up. A lot of you spoke out with extremely valid comments and concerns, and we want to take the time now to address those. We're sorry for how we originally delivered our goodbye message to YouTube. It was insensitive. If you want to watch our shows early and ad-free, you can catch them on the Watcher platform a month earlier. After that, you'll be able to watch our shows on YouTube for free. To me, this was a very good apology video. Like I said, they seem very sincere. And basically they said that their content will remain on YouTube. However, if you want to watch the content a month earlier, you can go subscribe to the Watcher TV platform. And they also said if you paid a subscription to the Watcher TV platform and you want a refund, they would offer you a full refund. So it's great for the people that want to get more content. They can pay for it. If you just want to watch for free, you also can watch it just a little bit later. So honestly, another great apology video. The Manny Show is another YouTuber that quickly fixed his reputation with a simple apology video. There was apparently an agent that was working for the Manny Show. And what this agent would do is he would go around to videos criticizing the Manny Show and give those channels a copyright strike to take the video down and there was a whole bunch of other youtubers that experienced this issue and it got so bad that the manny show had to basically put out an apology i am firmly against censorship so as soon as we learned what had happened we immediately contacted Enguin to see the video found no issue with the video and contacted youtube to reinstate the video and make things right with Enguin. i immediately fired the agent. You're I also fired. contacted YouTube to remove any claims against any other videos that had, may have been like what caught up in this bullshit. Like you just saw, not only did he fire the agent, but he went over to YouTube and said, hey, go ahead and reinstate all the videos that were copyright struck by me. So that was also a really cool move. He also goes on to say that he takes full accountability and he's honestly understood that some of the creators have been making fun of him for falsely copyright claiming them. And he even pokes fun, especially like when Charlie talks about him in a negative light, he takes it on the chin and he's like, yep, Charlie's a really fun guy. I really like him as a creator. So not only does he have that accountability, he also understands why people made fun of him and all that kind of stuff and he just takes it on the chin so overall a really good apology and when it comes to the best apology video you have to give the crown to PewDiePie everyone and their mother should know about this instance basically PewDiePie was live streaming and he was playing PUBG basically there was this guy that was killing his friend or his down teammate and he slipped the n-word. It was uh, pretty, pretty horrible. Obviously, he goes on to say he thought of the worst possible word to use in that scenario, and he accidentally said it, and he made a response video covering it. Whenever I go online and I hear other players use the same kind of language that I did, I always find it extremely immature, and I hate how I now personally fed into that part of gaming. I said the worst word I could possibly think of. I'm really sorry if I offended hurt or disappointed anyone. So what's not to like about this apology? He's sincere. He goes basically said, I said the worst possible word I could. He's an idiot and that he can't keep messing up like this. It was a minute and 35 apology. The apology has over 1.1 million likes. However, some people didn't like the apology when they said this is fake. He didn't play a ukulele. So that's really my only complaint too, is he should have played the ukulele and made a little song out of this. But other than that, it was probably the golden standard of YouTube apologies. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. Check out my second channel that is linked below and uh, there should be a video. Go ahead and click on that. I appreciate it. Thank you again for watching.